All right, I have a scary story uh, about free code camp. And before I tell you this story, I want you to understand that I think any resource that you learn from, no matter what, is a good thing. And everybody's got a different learning style. They've got a, a different, uh, you know, approach to, to both teaching it as well as to learning it. Obviously, I have a very quirky, weird style. I'm wearing a hoodie, for God's sake. Um, you know, and so I, I have to be careful because what I'm going to say is going to sound extremely critical of, of Free Code Camp, and it is critical um, of it. And But I, I want to back it up. Um, so this... This video is is going to be linked both from the web part as well as from kind of the where should I learn, who should I learn from part. But um, I was reminded of the story today when we were doing web development and um, I mentioned um, casually that after learning the basic structure of a website that I used to give people a sort of a challenge and I would say, okay, we next now next week when you come back, um, let's have you, let's see, let's time you, let's see how long it takes you to make a web page from scratch. And I used to always have jokers, you know, come in and do HTML5 and then use the template from, from, uh, VS code and it would auto complete and they'd say, I'm done, Mr. Rob. And I was like, no, you can't use that. You got to actually do it from scratch. And that meant that they had to remember how to, what, how to do the elements in order, how to, you know, what they were, you know, what the head and the body were different and maybe, you know, put a paragraph tag in there. And, it's kind of a fun way informally to test them and have them see how much they learn. Um, and it is actually one of those things where kind of memorizing it makes us make sense, right? Because you don't always have access to AI or to, uh, you know, to a template system that's going to fill it out for you. It is true that memorizing things like how do I start doing anything, any kind of boilerplate is completely uh, being replaced by AI, helping us create the boilerplate for everything. And that's awesome. But, but the point of that particular exercise was just to help them get to know it. And, but that's not even really the main point of this video. Um, the main point of this video is how little these people learn from free code camp. Um, so I am very sad to say that I, I, I'm going to share with you the statistics is going to look very bad on me and there's going to be one person in the comments that's going to say, well, that's just because you're a sucky teacher or a bad mentor. Fine. If you want to say that, great. I'm still going to tell you the story. So I took 35 or 40 people that I was mentoring and one year I said, look, I am tired of reinventing the wheel on everything. I want to get behind the efforts of, of others that are, that are promoting education out there and, and so I sent all 40, 40, 45 people from my, that particular mentored semester through Free Code Camp's web development project. And every week we would go through it and I would help them do their things. And I had a couple people figure out how to hack, up, hack the things so they could get credit even though they didn't do it, which was totally cool. Um, but I was like, you're not learning it just because you learned how to hack it. And... <laughs> It was really funny. Um, that's what happens when you teach everybody to think like a hacker. I mean, they're like, how can I pass this without having... Anyway, so so they ended up doing... Um, you know, they did go through the thing, but the problem... And, and honest to God, I don't know exact. My best guess uh, about the problem with, with the, the, the web development certificate... And they all got the certificate. They all, for all 45 or so of them got the certificate. So they were all officially web developers according to Free Code Camp. And, and so I decided to test them. I gave them the challenge that I just mentioned to you. I gave them the challenge. I said, they came in one day after they had their certificates and they printed it out and they were showing it to their parents and their parents thought they were awesome. Parents love flashy pieces of paper and t-shirts and crap like that. They don't, when you, when the parent says, what is my kid going to get? They'll say they're going to get knowledge and learning and potentially a job. They're like, oh, but did they get a certificate or do they get something, they get a trophy? Do they get something I can show the other parents how awesome my kid is? It was a challenge. It was a challenge. And Free Code Camp definitely did that. Free Code Camp gave them these big fancy certificates saying they were web developers and, 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 you know, 
and it was like signed and they printed it out and they hung it in their room. And then I tested them on it. Do you know where this story is going, right? Not, no, that's not true. Two, two of them, Adam, all of the 45 or so of these kids could, could finish making a web page at all on their own. Only two of them. They went through the entire thing. They had a certificate and I sat them down and I said, fine, make me a web page. And they couldn't do it. They had no idea. And they say, okay, well, let's do this. Let's at least get you a server because pre camp doesn't teach you how to set up a live server so you can preview your site at all. It makes you completely dependent on their service in order to even view anything. It doesn't talk about how to make a web server. It doesn't talk about where you could host on GitHub for free. It doesn't talk about, about how to preview your stuff in real time live. None of that. None of that was covered. Did it cover the meta tag? Yeah, it did. But not a single one of these people could create a website. Not none of them. And I kept saying, okay, I'm going to get you a little bit of help here. Okay, so here you got a server now. All right, ready, go. And I sent, I said, look, okay, you got your server. Now all I want you to do is just make a basic web document with like a header of the title and one paragraph. And none of them can do it except for two. And the two that had, were able to do it were those who I had already taken through this challenge and I had taught them these things myself one at a time and a thing. And this isn't about me. This is about the dependability of for education websites. The, the takeaway from this is that in my experience for education tools suck, they totally suck and they don't teach you actual skills. They teach you the theory or they get you to do a thing, but they, they didn't even know what index.html. I'm not even kidding. My friends, my friends, I am not making this up. Not none of these people, none of these people knew what to name the file. They didn't even know what the file was or where it would go or why is it ending with .html. They may have known one or two or three or the tags that was in this was in 2019 that was in 2019 now is it true that free code camp has probably improved their materials a lot since then yes it is um another one was code academy code academy same exact problem i sent people through there couldn't do it either um and that was when i realized and and, and this this really is the takeaway the takeaway is that for education simulations constantly suffer from missing all of the material right and and i my personal theory on the free co camp approach was number one it wasn't based on any pedagogy that has ever worked in an it sector period it was just based on okay we're going to do this thing and then it would immediately send them another video and another thing and they would do what was necessary to pass that level and it it didn't it didn't add on to the previous knowledge it just kept giving them new knowledge without reinforcing their old knowledge you know what would have reinforced their old knowledge the whole time? By making an actual thing, by making an actual page all the time, potentially from scratch. Maybe having them make three or four different pages. You get this page that does this. Now make another page that does this plus this other thing. Now make another page that does that plus something else. And then you aggregate their knowledge by layering on so that they get constant repetition or redundancy in the stuff they've already covered so that by the time that they're producing this really amazing web page, the thing that they remember the least is the thing they most recently did. But, but at that point it kept, but that is not how the free code camp stuff was set up. It was set up to go do this and then do this and then do this. And all of the online for education things like the gamified education and there's a bunch of i'm not even going to say there's a bunch of gamified education right now regarding these kinds of things and the thing that i worry about the most um is that someone's going to finish enough to do the thing another good example is vim adventures vim adventures teaches you how to win the game vim adventures it doesn't teach you vim and the kids that had gone through vim adventures did not know how to edit a file using vim in the terminal they had no idea because they never associated the act of editing a file 
with the keystrokes that we're having from Vim Adventures. And the idea, the idea, the hypothesis behind a thing like Vim Adventures is, oh, these kids are going to master all these really great, you know, command line things. The problem is, is that's not how your brain works. Your brain works by associating the task at hand with what you are seeing. That means you're looking at a terminal and you have a text file that needs to be edited. What are the commands? And then your fingers become associated with the movements and stuff to do that. And that is exactly the same thing for web development. If they had learned how to make a very simple web page, and if I had walked them through using VS Code or whatever to make an actual web page the same way an actual professional developer would do it, then they would be building on actual skills using real tools. And I cannot overstate how valuable that is. Because even if you learn the skill completely and you're doing it in the cloud, on some educational website and you're not actually logging into a system where every single thing is the same, then the pneumatic path, the, neuro, the, the, the pneumatic pathways in your brain, the, the neural pathways and the pneumatic uh, mnemonic methods and stuff like that, they're not going to work because your, your brain is, is used to associating all of this stuff, the entire experience. It's not just about, knowing how to do X and Y command, it's about having all the pieces be in sync so that when you are put in a similar situation for real, it's the same because you've never done anything but the real thing. And, and I, I see this all the time and I just, I just, so my concern was, my concern very, very simply is that, uh, you know, places like Free Code Camp and other gamified education things, there are a couple of areas where I've seen it more productive than others. For example, um, Code Combat, uh, that because they were doing coding and they added, you know, the actual syntax of the code that they were writing, um, you know, they got they got better at writing that syntax, but but they weren't solving real world problems. They were solving, you know, a problem to help them beat beat the the monster. So maybe they learned how to do recursion in a loop or something. But it wasn't as effective, in my opinion, had they been, you know, solving their own problems. I want to make uh, a story game. I want to make a, a something that accomplishes a particular goal of mine. And, and that just, it's just much more visceral. It's much more real. It just tends to stick better. So that's the end of the video, really. Um, I, it's not to throw Rico Camp under the bus. I understand that they have changed a lot, but, um, the takeaway was I sent 45 people through Free Code Camp and only two of them could build a website afterwards, a web page. And those two had already learned how to do it before that. That's the truth.